Hamjambo and welcome to another uh, I think a continuous episode of the report, report series. Today we are going to look at the Excel layout report and let's get straight into it because I've created another um, okay the Excel layout came out recently in this year in release 1 of 2022 and um, you can run it I, I believe in runtime 9 in your environment and so today we are going to look at uh, using the Excel layout in Business Central so I've created uh, I'll create a new report the report and then my ID will be 5100 and then I'll call it an Excel report. So we don't need the data. Okay, it's not the data set. Huh? We need the data set. The only thing we don't need is the request page and maybe the other items here. Everything on the request page. We need the rendering. The rendering is a new way of defining your layout because it can enable you to define multiple layouts and define maybe the default layout here because here you can say the default rendering layout so here i can say my excel layout and then in the default rendering layout i'll say it's my excel so i can be able to define several layouts here i can define several layouts here under rendering and then i will choose whichever is my default the one that will be generated when I click on, uh, when I open my report. So I want to save the file under report layout, then uh, bank ledger dot xlsx. That is the Excel layout extension. So remember what you want to do is display the bank account ledger entries and um, so the source table will be that bank account ledger entry bank account ledger entry so we want to create a pivot table in excel and uh, the filter will be the bank account so the bank account will be specified as a filter and then our rows will contain the posting date. Then the columns or the values, not the columns, the values will have uh, the amount in local currency. Uh, probably we can put it this way because for the purpose of having the amount in a positive format, we want uh the the debit amount or the credit amount in the um okay when you do minus one the debit amount will be okay we'll we'll have the credit amount in the in in an in a okay the credit amount is the one that will be a positive value meaning we will only see the amount in terms of the how the money is moving out of the bank yes probably that is what we need we want to see it in the in terms of values of how the amount is moving out of the bank so I will build the report, Control Shift P, and we'll have our in our report layout, it has generated this particular file that we wanted generated, the bank ledger.xlsx. Then you just right click and open it externally. When you open the file externally, you can be able now to uh, twist the layout in a way that you want. So come here to your insert and then we insert a pivot table. A pivot table enables us to analyze the data in an easier way. To give it, will, we have a, a huge data set in bank ledger entry that contains the bank name, the posting date, the description, the amount. But we want it to anal, we want to analyze it in an easier way so that we can understand the patterns of how our data is moving. So, click on the new pivot table, select the range. Uh, the data is now the sheet, and then new worksheet by default. So here we will add the bank account number in the filters and then the posting date in the rows and then the values will have the amount. And you can see it has picked the amount as a count of but we want the amount, uh, you right click on this count of, you go to value field setting and then we want the sum 
of the amount as per a particular uh, filter so you save this x x l s x report and then when we save when we save the report we will be able to now run and preview our file so i will build again and then ugh, what have i done okay we run the file i was just supposed to run i don't know if i have ruined my report i set it as the default the bank account ledger entry as the default one that will run i'll save it and then uh, open when done so that you can see our excel report i don't know if i have overridden the layout i believe not so here is our list and here is our our pivot table so let's enable editing here so that it can display and here is our summarized or a, a, a view of our the money that is moving out of our bank we have on the 1st of january 2023 um we have this 56,404 dollars moving out of all the banks like this is now the general so if we filter from here and we say we want giro bank thank you okay you see the even the date changes to fit to this Giro Bank. So if you want to filter it, you can be able to filter. We can select all here again and click OK. And then again, we can even select one of the values here. And then we, we can even group them monthly. We can say monthly from 1st of January 2023 to this 2020 to this range. You can specify the date. It can be in days, monthly, quarters. Click OK see our view of uh, how the movement has been going on in January, February, um, in that range. And it's a very good way of analyzing Excel reports. And it's easy to create Excel reports because the data will be displayed in a format that we want. And here we, from here, the range of the months, we can even insert a pivot chart. Oh, is it pivot chart? That will give us a view for the month. We see which month is, op is having a higher value of um a debit maybe december people are going for christmas and a lot of money was going out or yeah probably we had a lot of business and uh, uh before we end the session about the pivot about excel layout reports there's another way of we can be able to also generate the layout like let me open the let me say item list i want to display the item list when i click on this item list instead of previewing i can send to excel data only microsoft microsoft excel document data only and then i click ok so it will generate an item list in a form of a layout like this is the the layout or the we'll have the data set columns that we have under the item list there is a format for the, the the date and then there is the user id all these items are in here so using these items we can also still maybe uh, choose to to change the layout in a way that we want let me enable editing first and then probably insert a pivot table again based on when you analyze this data we could probably use um the the standard costing method versus the total value um yes yeah that that could be or the item inventory versus the standard uh versus the item costing method and then we filter with the item let's try nothing very serious here but a little bit serious so the standard costing method uh item costing method is it standard or item standard it is, oh it is the item costing method so you can even search the item costing method and the costing method will be a row yes we have average fifo specific standard and then the value will be the item uh, inventory 
so we are comparing it to the inventory so that we want to know um okay the specific uh item costing method doesn't have anything in terms of how items are concerned and then maybe the item number can be placed here under the filters so we'll be able to filter with an item if we say this is the item we only have standard which is a thousand but we can go back to all and this lay particular layout of ours can be saved and we upload it in uh, in the system uh probably i can clean it up a little bit and should i really remove this yeah because maybe this is a lot of repetition and maybe we only want the data from here i hope it won't break the report so i'll delete and then save again so this item list needs to be uploaded in our report layout selection uh, layout selection so when you go to the report layout selection and we search for the item list so it only have it it, it has um okay this is the report layer selection this is where we'll come and change um saying that we want another layout in excel probably we want an excel layout here from this layout selection so when i click on excel here i can be able to it will populate uh, an option for me where i can add a different um, uh, item layout but probably what i want to do today is to add okay why is it hanging i want to add another layout for excel in our item list so let me duplicate this. Um, I go to this PC. Come on, I have to log in again. Got in the password. We can be able to add a new layout to our items that is an excel layout and set it as the default and be able when we are generating the item list we'll get the excel layout as the default uh, layout why did i forget my password let me refresh this one so report layouts again we open the report layouts in the report layouts, we need to search for the item list. Okay, but we can now add a new layout. This is already there. A new layout. I want to know the object number of the item list, which is 10143. Then I say I want a new layout. For the report 10143, then the, that's the item list. And then my custom item excel layout excel layout the description custom item excel layout check namsangi then we have it in excel it is available in all companies and then it's prompting us to choose the layout that we have and here it is the item list that we had just been creating and there we there we are with our new item excel layout at the we have populated it with that particular value we can run it from here probably and be able to see the items and the option here is just to download as you can see and you can download the item list again um and we can even go to the report layout selection and probably specify it as the the default layout eh? okay something is wrong with that uh still opening our layout okay i'll probably go to the report the default layout default layout Default report layout selection. It's supposed to be layout. Custom report layouts. Report layouts. Custom report layouts. And then from here, I forgot the name of that 
it's item list item list is the item list item okay it's supposed to be default layout selection i don't cram these things eh? probably layout selection report layout selection we go again to the item list here in the item list now we want to change the default selection to what to an excel layout that will be this my custom excel layout that we have just created custom excel layout by technam sangi click ok and the next time we open the item list we'll be able to open an excel layout by default we can download it and uh, there we are with our item list too that's an excel layout item list let me confirm if everything is okay in terms of opening this excel item layout and to confirm if our the editing that we did is still intact and here we are we have uh, the first confirmation is the list we removed the unnecessary details of company name appearing in every column that was not really appealing and then let's enable editing and uh, we'll be able to see the pivot table by minimizing i believe there's a window here that is disrupting me okay i have to minimize so here is our pivot table and it is showing us the based on the item costing method what is the inventory level and we can also still but from here sort it where is sorting okay sort from largest to smallest and see that uh, uh, the fee for first in first out has more um, items in the inventory i think that's how we can be able to create excel layout reports we can customize our layout we can create charts and then be able to preview uh, data in excel excel is a very good tool for data analysis and um, i believe this is a very good feature that we should utilize and help our users achieve even more from big data sets that they get from the main business central system that's it for this video i'm not sure about the next episode what it will contain but please stay posted and you will i will see you in the next video for the report series may god bless you if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one